Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and the n integers which represents the capacity of the n tanks and also the n integers which represents the initial amount of n tanks so these are our inputs and for each hour of rain the each tank will be filled by one liter so after this the program is print the total overflow liters until all the tanks are completely filled so first we are going to accept the integer n and then the n integers which represents the capacity of the n tanks and n integers which represents the initial amount of n tanks and for each hour of rain each tank will fill by 1 liter and finally the program has print the total overflow liters until all the tanks are completely filled so now we'll take our first test case so in this test case we have four integers that is four tanks so the total overflow initially it will be zero and for the first hour of rain this initial values that is the initial amount of n tanks will be incremented by one so eight becomes nine fifteen becomes sixteen twelve becomes thirteen and six becomes seven so this is for the first hour of rain and we can see that no tank is filled and for the second hour of rain we can see that after incrementing by one so here we have reached the capacity that is 10 and for the other we didn't reach the maximum capacity so now after the next iteration so here we can see that this has reached the overflow that is the capacity is just 10 but we have got 11 so there is overflow 1 so it becomes 1 and after this others for others we have 18 15 9 so we can see that here we have got 15 which has reached its capacity and for the next iteration after incrementing by 1 we can see that we have got overflows for the two tanks that is 12 and 16 and for the fifth hour after incrementing we can see that this this and also this has overflows so So we have reached to a situation where we have got all tanks completely filled. So now this is total overflow will be 6 which will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we will get our integer n. And then we'll get our n integers for 
the capacity of the tanks and then we will get the amount that is the initial values of uh, the tanks and then we have a variable called as the total overflow which will be our final output so it will be zero initially and then we have our while loop so which runs infinitely till the tanks are completely filled so while true then we have a variable called has non overflow tank is equal to false so this has non overflow tank will help us to break the loop so initially it will be false and it will change as per our condition so we'll iterate over the index in range from n and here the condition is if the amount of the index is lesser than the capacity index means then if this condition is true means then this has non overflow tank will be true and in the elif part we have amount of index is greater than the capacity of index means then the tank is overflowed so it will be incremented by 1 then after this the amount of index will be incremented by 1 and if the not has non over tank float the overflow tank is false itself means then we'll use break and we'll print the total overflow so now let us run our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output that is 6 and we'll pass our second test case so yes we are also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video